Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to explain how to insert data frame data into Delta table. This is one of the basic and also most commonly used DML operation in Delta table. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and cluster is up and running. To get started with this demo, first I want to create a sample data frame. Using that data frame, I'll create delta table. Let me create sample data frame. This data frame contains columns, company, quarter, and revenue. There are three records. And I want to create a delta table. So in order to create a delta table, we have to use the syntax save as table. So this is going to be managed table. So I'm not providing any path. So the syntax is data frame dot write dot save as table. Then we can give a table name. So I'm giving table name as default schema fact revenue table name. Let me execute this one. Delta table got created. Now I want to see the data from the Delta table. So basically I have inserted three records. I want to see the data. In order to retrieve the data from Delta table, there are multiple approaches. In this uh, demo, I'm going to show you three different approaches. First one, I want to see all the data from the Delta table. So I can simply use spark.table. Then within the parameter, I can pass the table name here, default.fact revenue, that is the table name. So this syntax will retrieve all the records, all the data from the table. So I'm displaying. Let me execute this one. We can see this is the data we inserted uh, from the data frame. So there are three records, company, quarter, revenue columns. The second method, we can use Spark SQL also. So for this uh, approach, we have to pass a SQL statement as a parameter. So here we can limit the number of rows or number of columns. Basically, we can apply any filter or projection, column projection. So here, uh, this is another approach, Spark.SQL. Then within that, we can give SQL statement. So I'm displaying. And the third approach, we can use uh, percentage SQL, SQL magic command. So for that, it starts with percentage SQL. Then we can give standard SQL command that we use in any database. Select star from default dot fact revenue. Let me execute. So as part of this demo, we have created one Delta table and also we learned different approaches to retrieve data from the Delta table. Now we have to insert the data into Delta table based on data frame data. How can we do? So for that, first I'm creating sample data frame. So let me execute this one. Data frame DF1, this is containing one record. The schema is matching with our Delta table. Uh, meaning, you know, both are having columns, company, quarter, and revenue. And this uh, data frame is containing only one record. Now I want to insert this record into our Delta table. So what is the syntax? Again, uh, for inserting into Delta table, there are different approaches. I will cover a couple of approaches here. The first approach, we can use insert into, which means TF1, that is our data frame containing only one record, then write, then we have to use a keyword insert into. Then we have to give a table name. Then the parameter overwrite by default, it would be false, which means this uh, data will not be overwritten. Now, if you give overwrite uh, true, what happens is it will remove the existing three records. Then on top of that, it will insert this new record. But when we give overwrite equal to false, which means it will append the data, which means there are already three records in fact uh, revenue table. And on top of that uh, three records, it will append the new record. So let me execute this method. So here overwrite false, which means the new record would be appended in the Delta table. So the execution is completed. Now let me see the data. Spark.table and uh, default fact revenue. Now basically it should contain four records. Three records from the Delta table and one record, this RST, this one record from our data frame. So this is how we can insert data into Delta table from data frame. And another uh, approach, now I want to give override true. 
which means it will truncate the existing data. It will drop the existing records. There are four records. Everything would be discarded. Then on top of that, the new record would be inserted. So for that, I'm creating one uh, sample data frame, DF2. It is containing same structure as our delta table, company, quarter, revenue. It is containing only one record. And this time, I want to insert but this time I'm giving override equal to true, which means the existing record would be removed. Let me execute this one. Execution is successful. Now let me see the data once again. So spark dot uh, table fact revenue. Here we can see there is only one record that is from DF2. This is our DF2. QRT private limited Q3 3000 that is the only record we can see in our spark table output why because we have given override equal to true which means the existing record would be removed and the new record would be inserted so this is another approach and we can also use uh, SQL magic command for that you now we have to convert the data frame into table or view so I will show that method as well so let me create sample data frame DF3 so that is containing only one record, uh, same structure as delta table. Now I want to use uh, SQL uh, syntax for inserting the data into delta table. So for that, first I need to convert the data frame into table or view. So for that, here I am using, I am converting the data frame into temp view. I am giving view name v underscore insert underscore data. This is going to be the name of the view. So let me execute this one. So the view got created. Now Using SQL magic command, I can use standard insert uh, SQL statement for inserting data into delta table. So insert into uh, our delta table and select everything from v underscore insert data, this view name. So let me execute. The execution is successful and number of affected rows 1, number of inserted rows 1. Now earlier we had only one record that is uh, QRT and now we have inserted one more record ABC. So basically that should be two records in the delta table. So let me retrieve the data from the delta table once again. And it's containing two records. This is how we can insert data frame data into delta table in Databricks development. I hope you understood and enjoyed this video. If you like the content of this video, please like and comment this video and also please subscribe this channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.